22-year-old Ronald Bradley, a resident of Mahogany Heights, who was charged with the murder of female prison officer Miriam Gillett, walked free of that charge today. Justice Troadio Gonzalez upheld a no-case submission by Bradley's attorney. Oscar Salgado, on October 15, 2010, Gillette was in a vehicle driven by Ernest Savory on the Barrel Boom Hattieville Road when someone opened fire and she was fatally hit. Salgado contended that the Crown represented by DPP Crown Counsel Shaniza Smith would not use Savory's deposition. Savory himself is now deceased and was a sole witness in the prosecution case. Bradley's attorney, Oscar Salgado, spoke of what transpired. The prosecution called 10 witnesses, and after the 10 witnesses gave evidence, I then made a no-case submission on the ground that, one, there was no evidence against Ronald Brady linking him to the murder, and two, that even if there was evidence, the evidence was so tenuous that it was unsafe to send that evidence to the jury. And I made that based on two limbs of identification. Firstly, that when Savory deposed to have seen the assailant on the 10th of October 2010, he saw him for less than 10 seconds, for about 10 seconds at night, 7.50 p.m., no moonlight and just the headlights from his vehicle for about for 10 seconds at a distance of six feet while he was driving. So as he was driving past him six feet away, he saw him for about 10 seconds. And that Savory in his deposition described the assailant as a person who was tall, red skin, and pointed face, with braided hair shooting up in the sky about six inches high. In the dock, the person who appeared did not fit that description. Moreover, at an identification parade which was held 69 days later, on the 23rd of December 2010, Savory made recognition of Ronald Bradley picking out number six which Ronald Bradley held as the person who he saw. My arguments before the court was that Savory was mistaken because one, none of the description he gave in his deposition fit in that of Ronald Bradley and two, the police did not confirm to the procedures laid down in the police regulations for the conduct of a ID parade. The case was won without a jury.